What's up you guys? It's Troy and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a very easy and fun painting for you guys called Castle in the Sky. This painting tutorial is in partnership with the Bulk Springs Library, so if you received a painting kit from the library, please make sure to check out the description box below on how to mix your colors. I'm going to go ahead and guide you guys step by step, so grab your supplies, a comfy spot to paint, and let's get started. So we're going to start off as usual. I'm going to go ahead and start setting up all my colors needed for this painting. Now I did add a couple of extra colors in here for those who received a painting kit from the library. No worries, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to mix those colors. Then I'm going to go ahead and of course start taping off my surface. I really like to get a nice clean border around my painting, so I always like to use half inch washi tape to kind of secure the white edges so paint doesn't bleed through. So today I kind of decided to paint in my dining room. Um, I figured the lighting would be a little bit better and I'd have a little bit more space on the dining table and I actually love the lighting a little bit better in here but let me know what you guys think. Do you like the lighting better or my videos better in my studio on my white desk or on the dining room table in my dining room? Um, just leave a comment below let me know what you think. Okay, so now that I'm done taping off my surface, I'm going to grab some of my blue paint, color in this top area here with some of my blue with our flat brush. I'm going to take some of that blue on the side, and I am going to take a little bit of my lilac ice. I'm going to mix it in and take a little bit and mix it in with that black. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting in, starting from the upper corners and making my way downward. And we want to get a nice transition from the dark blues to the lightest color that we have on our painting. Now if you're not using the other colors that I have, go ahead and use that white paint to go ahead and paint in those areas to lighten up your blue color. So the lower you get towards the end of your surface at the bottom, the lighter you want your colors to get. So as you're going down, make sure to add a little bit more white in at a time. But for those who are using the same colors as me, as you can see, I'm just kind of going in with my little X brush stroke, making that nice texture. And I'm just going in and adding those colors in little bitty chunks at a time. So I started with the blue, moving down to the lilac, and then the blush pink. And then finally, I'm going to do my ivory at the bottom, which is going to be the lightest area of my painting. So again, if you're just using the blue, black, and white for your painting, you want to make sure that the blue at the bottom here is as light as possible. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of my ivory and just kind of add a little bit more color variation here at the top towards the middle and a little bit of my lilac here as well to give it a little bit more depth. If this is going a little fast for you guys, make sure to pause the video if you'd like just to kind of take your time. Awesome. 
so now that we're done with our background we're gonna go ahead and give this some time to dry I recommend about five to ten minutes you can use a blow dryer on the cool setting but I'm gonna go ahead give this some time to dry and we'll be right back okay so now that our background is all dry we're gonna start painting in our silhouette Again, I'm going to take my flat brush and I'm just going to grab some of my black paint. Okay, and I'm going to start off painting in a little ridge or a little cliff over here on the left side of my canvas. Right about halfway, I'd say. I'll draw a little line coming out about halfway in. And I'm just going to make jagged little brush strokes coming down. As you can see, I'm not making it perfectly straight. I'm just giving it some texture on the edges and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it right in with my black paint. Okay, so now that we've got our ridge over here or our cliff on the left side of my surface all painted in. Now I'm going to take my small liner brush and I'm going to start working on the castle. Okay, So we want the castle to kind of be in the upper right hand area region of our surface. Okay, And what I want to start doing first is I want to start making these little lines straight down. Now you don't want these to be too long. You kind of want it to float right in that area there. And I'm just making these long rectangular shapes with my liner brush. And then I'm just kind of going in, adding another little one in there, just right on the side. And this is really going to be the base of our castle. Now you guys can really get creative with this, um, make it however you'd like, um, but this is just going to be the, oh, oh. <laughs> of course I dropped, okay, well now I'm going to have to switch up how we're going to do this, but that's okay, that's okay, no worries, there are only happy accidents, no mistakes, okay, as the great Bob Ross would say. So um, anyway, yeah, moving forward, so now I'm just going to kind of create a little bridge here and I'm just making four lines and kind of arching in between each one to connect them to each other just to kind of give the idea of the bridge arching here then we're gonna add a long rectangle here for the end of our bridge and right here I'm just kind of embellishing on the castle and then I'm gonna add the tops with a little triangle and a little tiny flag here. Now you can add one of the tops as a square, kind of like this. And I'm going to kind of finish it off here. Now I'm going to start outlining this area here kind of establishing the base or the foundation of our castle. Then I'm going to come in with my flat brush and just start painting a little bit of that in. It's totally up to you how you guys want to do it, but you just want to paint in a small little area of land in black just to kind of give the idea of where we want it to be. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to make sure that it doesn't overlap or come close to our ledges. I'm going to kind of clean my brush a little bit. Grab a little bit more black paint, fill in this ledge just to darken the colors a little bit more. Okay. 
also going to add, I guess, some little rock formations here. Just with the edge of my brush. And just straighten that out. Make that come out just a little bit further. And a couple rock formations here. Now I'm gonna grab my liner brush again. And this is where the fun part really starts. With the little details, I'm gonna start adding some little trees and landscape here by just painting in little bitty dots. So I'm just gonna kind of stubble on little tiny dots just to indicate where my trees and foliage is. You just want to add that all around the edge. Again, all you're doing is making little bitty dots in random formations. And you want it to come out, just kind of floating outwards in the sky. And I'm just kind of softening up my formation edges, my land formation edges, by just adding those little dots. Again, you can really get creative on how you want to do this. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You just have to have fun with it and kind of use your imagination. So I'm just going to kind of speed through this. Awesome. So now that I've got my base color of the foliage in black, I'm going to come in with some of my lighter colors. So you want to come in with that lightest color of blue if you have like a painting kit. And I'm going to use my lightest color. And for everyone else, this will be our ivory. And start painting in small little lines or little brush strokes to signify our castle windows. And again, get creative with this. You can place them in any formation that you'd like. Right, that looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna take some of my blush pink or my second lightest color blue. Add a little bit more to here. Pull up on some colors right quick. All right. So I'm gonna go back with my blush pink and using that exact same technique that we used to add the black foliage in the background, I'm gonna kinda go over the black a little bit and create some dimension with that second lightest color. Just kinda going in with those different colors. At the top area here, I kind of want to stick with some lighter color blues. On the side there, kind of mix in my lilac a little bit. Again, just kind of play with these colors. But I kind of want the transition to be the exact same on how we did with our sky background. So you do want it to transition from the blue, which is our darkest color, all the way down to our ivory, which is our lightest color, or your lightest color blue if you have the painting kit. 
and just kind of stumbling back over with some of my black paint a little bit. And just kind of use your best judgment here. Also gonna add a little bit here right in the center. Now I like to typically use almost like I'm doing a zigzag pattern going from left, right, and back. Just to kind of give it nice dimension. So now I'm gonna start working on this little cliff here and I'm going to be doing the exact same technique that I did for the foliage of my castle. I'm gonna take some of my blue and my ice lilac And then I'm going to do the little stubbling effect again. Let's do it over here. There we go. And then just start adding those little dots in. And again, you want to use various colors here, whichever order you like. And add in, in little clusters and kind of make your way down towards the bottom of your painting. On the outer edges here. Again, just use different little dots here. And it kind of gives the effect of like flowers, which I absolutely love. So I think the texturing of this turned out really great. So I'm just going to kind of continue with this. At the lowest point with my lightest colors. And now I'm going to add just a slight highlight to the top of my cliff right here just to kind of give the indication of a flat edge, flat surface here. Just kind of adding that there. And then a couple of highlights around here, just to kind of highlight the shape of the rock formations there. And also along the outer edge here. And a little bit here. Okay, so now I'm going to use the tip of my brush, which is the very bottom where the little nub is of our paintbrush. And we're going to make stars with this. And I'm going to grab my lightest color. And I'm going at the very top with my lightest color to start making my stars. Now you can use just white for this. You don't have to use your lightest color blue. But I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my stars by just grabbing some of that paint and just dotting in my stars. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to kind of drag a couple of them while they're still wet or you can just grab onto a little bit of extra paint and just kind of start from the center of the star and drag your brush out just to create a couple of shooting stars. Then I'm gonna add some teeny tiny stars just as filler. And a couple of them down here too. All right, and that's pretty much it you guys told you it was easy. So last but not least, the Pierre de Resistance. I 
I am going to peel off the washi tape. Please forgive me for that horrible French accent. And now we're done guys. Thank you so much again for tuning into my channel for this painting tutorial. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I absolutely love the way it turned out. Something different that I don't really do every day, so it was a nice little challenge for me. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to click that like button, hit subscribe, and click that bell button for more notification on painting tutorials. Love you guys. Bye.